Hey, there's no shame in trying things that people ain't never tried before. In the last week, I had a few video ideas, but they all fell through. I've been migrating from my laptop to my new desktop, and there have been some kinks that have made video making a bit difficult. Not only was my old software broke and my new software shit, I've been so busy the last week that I have little to say, at least coherently and concisely. You know, you get three minutes of this idea done, six minutes of that idea done, try writing a script, the script doesn't work, try ad-libbing, ad-libbing doesn't work. Just many components for many ideas, none of which are working out, and then on top of that, the tools you use to make them are broken. However, this ain't a negative video, boys. This is actually probably going to be one of the most positive videos made in a while. I feel phenomenal despite all this, despite all these kinks and malfunctions. Everything feels great. And remember, boys, existence is subjective, life is subjective, and although things may feel bad, or be bad, rather, if you feel good, that's what matters. And if you feel that good feeling, especially if things are bad, cling to it, celebrate, push it up, grab it, make it last, write it for all it's worth. Because you feel good. You know, you feel good. Don't let anybody or anything take that from you once you have it, if you have it. And again, celebrate if you have it. Because feeling good naturally happens rarely, at least for me. So when you're presented the opportunity, make the most of it. Remember what I said a while ago about life being a roller coaster, not in the basic white bitch sense, but in the peaks and troughs sense. Usually we're <laughs> usually we're in troughs and we wallow and we explore the troughs. But when you reach a peak, when you have a peak, when you find a peak, explore it. Sing from the mountaintops. Explore that joy, because it is worth exploring. And it is rare, but remember, this is why you're living, or at least one of the reasons. Feeling good feels fucking great. <laughs> it can't be recreated, it just happens. So remember, boys, if you feel good, don't let it pass. Grip it. Grip that shit tight. Now, we're getting all the skimmer life lessons out of the way early, because what I plan to do for the rest of the video is exactly that. Celebrate. I have no pals around to celebrate with right now, so fuck it, boys. I'm celebrating with you. We'll start with the software I use. I actually have two pieces of editing software. Cyberlink PowerDirector 15, which is the one I like and am familiar with, and Sony Vegas 14, which I dislike. I moved PowerDirector from my laptop to this computer, and although it worked, there were some major problems which popped up and went away randomly. For example, my microphone would work occasionally, and other times it wouldn't. And when you record mainly in your software, that's a problem. Just as well, it would delete or remove clips, video clips, from my workspace out of nowhere and for no reason. And when I tried to figure out why, the software got really pissy. Which, again, if you're editing videos, <laughs> losing your videos is a bit of a problem. So I tried using Vegas. I bought Vegas, I'm gonna try to use Vegas because PowerDirector isn't working, but... <laughs> Although Vegas is the, I guess, better software, it's very utilitarian 
and ugly, and I dislike it. And although it may be capable of more, and although better editors probably use Vegas, I much prefer my shitty Babby's first editing software power director because it's comfortable and it's easy on the eyes and it's pretty. I like using it. And I was not looking forward to having to learn Vegas. But after about a week with Vegas, I decided I was done. I decided I'd find a way to get Power Director back and get it working. Because Vegas was not working, and I disliked it. And gosh diddly darn, in life you gotta get what you want, boys. Now, Cyberlink, Power Director's company, is a pretty shit company. They're more out to get money than they are to make a quality product. But, as confusing and unhelpful and manipulative as they are, because I kept a solid paper trail when I bought the stuff to begin with, I was able to get it back and get it working properly. And boy howdy. That's a good feeling, boys, because usually when you're dealing with shady people like this, you can kiss whatever you want goodbye. Unless you're willing to pay tons of money. Which it looked like I was gonna have to, but man oh man, I didn't. And I didn't have to settle for less. I got what I needed and I didn't have to settle. That's a phenomenal feeling. Next phenomenal feeling, celebratory thing I've been sitting on for a while and haven't properly celebrated. My graphics card. I bought that bad boy during Cyber Monday, and they were on back order for... they didn't know how long. And I figured after about two months, if they came in, the company I bought it from, paid for it from, uh, B&H, would ship the graphics cards to the people who paid full price, because uh, although that's scummy, that makes sense business-wise. Why would you ship to the person in front of the line if they're paying less? But that didn't happen. That didn't happen. The moment the order came in, they shipped mine, and I still paid half price. Which is great, because I was stuck between buying a new graphics card, which would have performed worse and costed twice the money, or kept waiting for I don't know how long. Many more months I was prepared to wait. But that didn't happen. They came in two months later and shipped me it. Shipped it to me. They didn't screw me. <laughs> they didn't fuck me. You know how good of a feeling that is? A company not fucking you? What a great feeling. What a what a weird great feeling that is. Wow, a company didn't fuck me. That's that's, that's wow. <laughs> wow. I'm actually getting tired and losing steam here, so I'm just gonna list off a couple of these. I hope you don't mind if I don't get super excited. <laughs> it's 5:30 a.m. and I finally got all this stuff working, and I'd like to just get this video done. And hot diddly dang, this is my channel, boys. This is my video I'm putting together. I can do whatever the hay I want. My car works. It's comfortable. I love driving it. I love it. And it again, it just works. It just works. My room is clean. Got some furniture moved out of there with human sinkholes help. I don't know why we help each other. Because really, we do hate each other. But I guess autism trumps common sense so that's nice computers put together he helped with that too i would not have been able to put that together in two sessions over essentially two days that would have taken me at least a week to figure it all out computers all together now and working flawlessly besides the software but again we figured that shit out boys that's done it's fixed although i'm back in college and taking classes I'm not particularly interested in to get a degree I doubt I'll ever use. 
They're all online classes, at least for now. Meaning I can stay up until 5.30 in the morning making videos with no problems. I can knock out most of my work fast so I have even more time. And my time is valuable. I value my time more than anything. And I'm in a position to maximize my efficiency. Maximize my joy. You know, that's just... It feels great. I have the shittiest... This is the shittiest sleeping schedule I've ever had, and I've never been happier. Just as well, although I'm not interested in the classes, and although I'm probably never going to use the degree, it won't put me in debt like my original college would have. And just sitting here, editing this video on a larger screen, which I can see easily, without craning my neck and hunching my back, leaning back, le <laughs> leaning back in a chair. I'm not sitting in a camping chair anymore. I'm not straining my eyes anymore. I am doing what I love comfortably. That is just, that is, hmm. I'm gonna lose, <laughs> gonna fucking lose this uh, eventually, but for right now, boys, I have my sandwich and goddamn, am I enjoying it. Sound off in the comments though, boys. What little things are you thankful for? What makes you happy? I want to know. Let's get that positivity ball a rolling. You got and that ought to wraps this one up, boys. I hope you enjoyed watching because I certainly enjoyed making it. And I did. I am. Because after all that gosh darn work I tried for the last few which didn't work, I'm doing as little editing as possible on this one. <laughs> and I get to use my favorite outro track. Yes, this one is my favorite. Because we're going to keep this one nice and short. Like if you enjoyed, because that helps me out a lot. Or I think it does at least. Subscribe if you haven't, because we do this shit occasionally. And comment your thoughts, because I love hearing from you, and I mean it. <laughs> oh, boy. Thanks again for watching, everybody, really. We have a lot of fun on this channel, and I look forward to doing this with you guys again in the future. To the affirmative, don't mess with Mr. In Between. Don't mess with Mr. In Between.